What's happening, folks? Do you know about what time it is? What time of year it is? Yeah, we all know it's uh, fall, winter, whatever it is here in Georgia. You never know. Water temperatures are dropping. Obviously, fish are doing different stuff. About in the mid 50s, the crawfish decide to spawn. You hear a lot about everything else, from shad spawn, you know, fish spawn, bluegill, whatever. But the crawdads, about mid-50s, they have their own little thing going on. Water hits about 55 degrees, give or take a little bit. The uh, male crawdads literally crawl out from under a rock. They'll get up on top of the rocks. I mean, they're just everywhere. It's a whole mating ritual. Uh, the males, they'll get up on top of a rock. They're uh, hanging out. They're going to have their claws up, showing the red undersides. You know, hello, ladies. Looking for a little action. If that doesn't work, they'll move from rock to rock. Most of your bass going to pick up on this. I mean, that's an easy meal for them, an easy target. Normally, you know, crawdad's pretty quick. They're faster than they look. Uh, a lot of them are bigger than you think they are. Most of the time, everybody talks about red baits, orange baits, what have you. And now, nah, there, there, there's a lot to that. Uh, your crawfish are going to be bright red. I mean, like the whole thing, like a lobster kind of sort of, when the water's warmer. Uh, when the water's in the 50s, they're going to be brown for the most part. They may have a little, little touch of blue on them. They may have a little touch of yellow, green. Now the underneath of their claws, those are going, you know, just like the palms of your hands are lighter. That's going to be the red. That's what they're going to be out there flagging around, clicking around, whatnot, trying to pick them up a lady. Just because they're spawning at this time of year doesn't mean that they're going to hatch. They can actually mate with a female she stores all that and she will uh, make little crawfish back in the you know when the spring comes up when the water gets uh, below 50 and stuff they go into hibernation they crawl back under the rock and you won't see them until the water warms up to 50s again that all being said uh, there's a lot more to it as far as their colors uh, the pH, acidity of the water and stuff like that can have a lot of effect on them as to, you know, what color they are. If you want to run around with a pool test kit and check the water and do the science on that, hey, let us know how it works out. I'm not going to that much trouble. Um, this time of year, most folks are going to be throwing uh, crankbaits. You know, bang them into every rock you can get them into, skip them across the tops of those rocks. Um, your color of choice really I've got some stuff laid out here and uh, since everybody's into the red and the orange thing and uh, we'll just kind of go over those real quick okay plain and simple most folks are gonna be throwing something similar to this it's crawl color it's got a little red a little black orange yellow that one right there pretty much got every color you could think of for a crawl bait get it up here where you can see it got a pretty good lip on it should dive pretty deep i don't think it has anything on it i don't even know what brand this is crawfish are gonna be pretty much brown this time of year anything brown maybe with a little bit of uh, yellow to it that's got chartreuse, kind of goes from brown to chartreuse. That is a Berkeley Wild thing. This is a one of the Berkeley little shad baits. It starts off more of a brownie red, fades into a orange yellow, and then into a little orange stripe. Another crawdad colored bait. This little thing right here. That is a, if I don't get a hook in my finger, Berkeley Pitbull. 
think outside the box. How about a jerk bait? That's a pretty cool looking jerk bait. It might not catch fish, but I like looking at it. It's got small lips, not gonna go too deep. It starts off dark. Got a little flash to it, but it's more of an orange. Kind of a yellow orange, then an orange belly, a little, a little red on the tip. Cool little feather thing on the back of it there. I'm gonna throw it, we'll see what happens with it. Chatterbaits. <laughs> Remember a few years back, these were worth a fortune, are they not? The fire crawl. Oh God. They were all over eBay. Everywhere trying to sell them. The fire crawl. I mean, it was insane. People were selling these things for an obnoxious amount of money online. Well, it may work. This one's got a dark blade. Put you some sort of little critter bait on the back of it. I would suggest something in the brown, green pumpkin, somewhere along in there. It'll change skirt on it. Put your green pumpkin skirt on it. We've got a little bit of red on there. Experiment. You don't want to look exactly like the crawfish. And like I said, crawfish aren't going to be like super neon red in cold water. That's warm water that they do that. Several jig combinations you can go with. This one's got all, all sorts of different colors. It's got some dark greens, light greens, and browns. Yeah, I live next to a busy highway. You put the right critter bait on the back of that. It's a small jig should produce. My go-to color is green pumpkin. You gotta have a green pumpkin. You can't go wrong with this. You can change up the trailer on it, make it what you want. Anywho, as the water gets into the 50s, this will happen. You find some rocks, pick something that resembles a crawfish or scoops across the top and bangs on the rocks. Those bass know that. They're lurking around somewhere. The majority of them are probably out chasing shad, like always. But, if you've got Pimp Daddy Crawfish hanging on the side of a rock, clicking his little red clickers, and they're being dumb this time of year because they're looking for uh, companionship, uh, they're going to be standing on top of the rocks. That's, that's too easy. Bass don't think like humans, but that's an easy meal. Anyway, give it a shot. Maybe that'll work out. You can uh, look on several different websites about crawfish and it'll explain a little bit more to what they do in certain temperatures of water and what makes them the colors they are. But they're not gonna be super bright red this time of year, just their claws. Anyway, go fish.